Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, let me just get into it. This video is majority going to be all about protective styles. So if you don't want to hear nothing about protective styles, do say. If you want to stay, you're welcome to stay, honey. Moving on. Um, so today, like I said, it's going to be all about protective styling. So let me first start off by saying I mostly do protective styles in the cold because dryness my hair is it becomes very dry and because it's so cold outside like wash and goes are not it for the winter and yeah that's why i normally you normally will catch me with braids in the winter time like at the end of the year or in the beginning of the of the year so as i'm like describing this to y'all i'm going to try to like post clips of me doing what i did because i didn't make a video of me prepping my hair before i got this protective style so yeah should be either there or there so the first thing i do before like i um i get my braids to prep before the braids i clean my scalp so i use a very good cleansing condition um not conditioner a very clarifying shampoo this time i use the um myel organics hydrating what what is it uh let me go get it okay i'm back so this is the shampoo that i use before my protective style and then i went in and deep in um condition now even though i condition my hair i still deep condition like use a second like a deep conditioner after i i condition my hair to detangle because that's just what i like to do some people don't but i do so this is the conditioner i used diva curl decadence and a really good slip and it helped me detangle my hair um fast and with not a lot of like uh what is it called like breakage and stuff so it was good and then i deep conditioned with my other organics of course babezu mint deep conditioner so after that whole process took me like 30 minutes or whatever i then went in and it's time to blow dry my hair now so right before i blow dry my hair i section it of course in a different like not four sections it's a lot of itty bitty sections because my hair took me at least an hour this is no joke like at least an hour to blow dry my hair like it was the longest process i haven't i blow dry my hair maybe like twice a year because of me getting braids like twice a year so like i haven't had blown dry my hair in so long and that was the longest process but um to protect my hair from the heat from the blow dryer i ran out of what i had before i think it was either the my organics one or something else but the heat protectant that i used this time was by excuse me by l'oreal paris um it's called boosted blowout hairspray and i got this literally and i have no idea if it has sulfates in it or anything it was so last minute that i had to just grab something because this was what my local right had and i was just like screw it like i need i need something to protect my hair so and i spray a leave-in conditioner first and then i put that i spray that and then i blew out blue dry blow dry my hair but i think i sectioned my hair into like eight sections and did it that way and still took forever so hopefully i can find a better way to blow dry my hair okay so after i'm done blow drying my hair i then clip my own ends because for me, clipping my own ends is easier for me to be like, okay, like this is how much I want to take off and this is what I think is dead and what's not and I just feel more comfortable with me clipping my own ends because it's like if I do it, I mess up my own hair. I have no I don't have nobody else to be upset about to be upset with but myself now if i'm at the shop and somebody else doing my hair and i'm like they clipping off too much or i don't like the way this is going it's like then it's out of my control then but if i do it myself it, i'm in control so yeah that's the way i like it if you guys want me to post a full video on how like you how you want to see me clip my own ends i'll i'm open to that but um this is a little clip of how I do it.
so when I got my hair braided I also brought my own gel and this is the gel that she used to put in my extensions and it smells really good and I think it held up pretty well like this is my first time ever using this um but I think it held up pretty well I would use it again for protective style but let me show y'all what I use to keep up with my scalp and my hair while the braids are in. so this is what I use I use the Cantu apple cider vinegar root rinse I use both the uh what is this see I don't know what to call them so I use both of these so here's the first one this is the one that you have to rinse out I know that for sure and then after I finish using this, I follow up with a um, conditioner and then I rinse that out and I just like, um, I spray some leave-in conditioner and then put like oil even on the extensions. And you can even put this on the extensions. Like if I had them down, I would be like this, like this is how I would like just a bunch, like squirt a bunch and then go like this. But, um, and then for like now like if I was just like oh like my roots is rough let me just touch it up then I would use this and you can tell the difference is the way the bottles were but they both had these little like nozzle things so you can just see the like ooh, the little nozzle that it's just like easy access like you just go like that and I just put it in all around and then I just be like oh feels so good and it actually tingles a little bit which took away it's like a cooling agent that like takes away the itching and helps the braids loosen up which is great because that first like week and a half was so rough with the itching and I was like oh about to scratch my scalp out my head so and then um at nighttime I still slept with my satin bonnet regardless of braids or not because I still have to protect my hair and I still did moisturize, like I said, every night in morning, I would spray some leave-in conditioner all over and then rub some oil on my hands and just go like this. And I did Eco Styler on my edges because it's light and yeah. And then I use a lot of body every now and then. But that's really it. That's how I took care of my braids. And now I'm actually about to take them out. So yeah. But that's going to be in another separate video because I'm going to do like a wash day take down braids routine. So if you want to see that video, then click the link below because actually, no, I'm actually going to do that after. So I lied. Rewind. What I'm going to do is post this video, take out my braids, and then I am going to make a post on my Instagram so you know when to see the video of me taking out my braids. So I know I just did a lot of rambling. So before I end this video, I'm gonna show y'all what my braids look like because I know y'all wanna know what it look like. And I know this, I should've did this video a long time ago, but life happens and y'all know this. Oh. Feels so good. I'm almost debating if I want to take them out tonight. So this was the actual like. And then like the back is like individual. I loved wearing this style in a bun. I, I think I never, I don't think I ever wore it down either. But whatever. So this and then the designs and I put the beads. I love these little beads. But look how much my hair has grown out. Like, look at the flakes. Look. Look how much my, how my hair has grown out. It's time to take these out, y'all. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Because I miss my hair. And it's been four weeks. It'll be four weeks on s Sunday, I think. But yeah. So thanks for watching my video, guys. I hope this was helpful to help you take care of your, during your protective styles. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.